Yes, in this video, what we are going to say is uh, standard templates in C++. So, what do you mean by standard templates? Actually, what we have seen already in our class, we have seen what do you mean by template. In template, uh, when we declare uh, a temp when we declare a template, we can pass any type of uh, data types. For example, once you have declared stack to be a common template, then you can pass any integer or any floating point or you can pass string or you can pass character. That is the main advantage of a template. So only you have to change the data type so that it will take effect throughout. That is, uh, it's like a common data type. So uh, that's what we have seen so far in our classes. But now in this, what we are going to say is exclusively standard templates are available. So what is the purpose of that? Instead of writing big, big codings, say for example, if you are going to write push, then you have to uh, write codings, say for example, top, top equal to top plus one, then you have to assign that variable. Uh, into the and you have to push it into the stack like that you are you are writing big codings okay uh, same way for q also same for uh, for linked list also you have to write a lot of codings but in c++ it is available uh, the, just like ha how you are handling the say for example i want to write as uh, i want to find a square root function in which case when you 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 can use just you can use sqrt function for that, what you have to do is you have to include math.h. That's all. You have to include some files, uh, .h files, header files. So that's enough. Even now, we are using C out and C in. For that, we are including IO stream. So IO stream is a header file. You just include a big, and the C out, C in are, are all explained in those header files. So what you have to do is no need for you to write coding for uh, C out and C in mentioning the dimensions of the or uh, the coordinates of the screen and then uh, placing your uh, output. So uh, uh, it's not like that. You are just uh, you are able to use it from those header files. Whatever functions defined in the header files, you will be able to use the functions along with the respective arguments and it gives you the output, correct output. So likewise, for queues, stacks, and linked lists, or, or, or arrays, vectors, there are exclusive templates for that. What you have to do is you just you have to include those header files, and you can use as if because already the push pop queues are dq and q everything has been defined in those header files. What you have to do is you have to just call those functions and use it in your program. So we will see what are all the standard templates available in C. First, we will see uh, what is a template. Now, here C++, it supports a well-defined standard template library. It consists of the following three components. So, standard template, STL is nothing but it's a library, template library, just like I was stream and the in uh, math.h all those things are uh, available uh, in a library this is also yeah, li available in the library so uh, containers it mainly consists of three components one are containers algorithms and iterators so containers what are they they are the collections used to manage for a particular application so for example if it is stack what are the collections for the stack push pop then uh, uh, using the top pointer how you can peek so all those things are said to be the collections of stack likewise q has dq nq etc so uh, these are used to manage collections of object of a certain link like list q stack actor so they are also to be containers and algorithm these act on containers for initialization sorting searching and elements in containers then iterators which are these are used to, to go through the whole of the container the collection of objects so these are used to step through the elements of the collections of objects some of the common containers available in c++ is vector it is similar to arrays repeat replicates arrays then we have arrays also uh, q 
it replicates queues stack it replicates stack and priority queue it replicates heap structures and list replicate the link list set replicate the trees which you are going to study soon and then map associate arrays so these are all the some of the common containers available in c++ now we are going to see one of the basic container which is nothing but array so array implementation using standard template library here what we are going to say we will see the syntax general syntax of the array so here array then you have to give the what type of object whether it is an integer or it is a string whatever it is so object type you have to give and the size of the array and then the name or name for that array so for example if you see this this is a syntax this is a small uh, declaration so for example how to give the keyword array then the data type that is object type it is and so this array what we are doing going to declare will consist of only integer and then four so four elements can be declared in there and we have given the name of the array as even numbers then we are initializing uh, the variables while declaration itself so it will consist of the even numbers and four numbers are there so some of member functions what are the member functions of array templates so these are all the member functions at it is used to return the value in a particular uh, at a given range at a particular place you can say so for example at i at 5 means the value in the position 5 will be returned then it is similar to this this is a square bracket and it is similar to the uh, at now front this returns the first element in the array so what is the first element that will be returned and back it will return the last element of the array then fill it assigns a given value to every element so for example i want to fill from first position to say third position one value then you can use fill add for the whole array also every element of the array it assigns a given value to every element of the array so when you give fill uh, fill of two so for example i have declared a uh, array v and i am asking to fill it with the eight value eight means i can uh, i no need to write eight 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 uh, up to sometimes instead you can use fill to fill the particular value then swap this swaps the content of two arrays of the same type and same base that is the uh, when you have two array which are of the same type both integer or both string like that only then you can size also must be same if that uh, are say for example we uh, array of one consists of five values mean array of two also must consist of five values you can swap the value so for a condition to be swapped both the arrays must have of the same type and must have the same size empty this can be used to check whether the array is empty or not so this will return a boolean variable it is used to check whether the array is has some value or not then size this method returns the number of elements present in the array so maximum size this returns the maximum size of the array then begin this method returns the iterator pointing to the first element of the array begin and end will be used in the iterator which we have already seen the here iterators so iterators are used to go through the whole of the container which is nothing but now what we are going to discuss here is array templates so now we'll see with an example yeah. array so if you see this here we have in this program uh, you have to include this include array so this is the library uh, this is the header file which take uh, where the array functions are member functions everything are been declared in this so now we are using the namespace then here see how we have declared array then we have declared it, it to be this array to be consist of integer type and uh, it consists of four elements and we have declared we have given a name for this array and four so since it is four we have given four elements this is while declaring itself we have initializing then we have declared another array where this consists of 10 values which is again of 10 integer and then we have given the name as array 1 so in this we are just printing the value see here at we have used that where we have 
defined in the PowerPoint. So, at of 2 means it will return the value. Here, it starts from 0, 1, 2. So, at of 2 means it will print the 5. Then, at of 3 means it prints the value 7. And here, it defined the index. So, that here, you know, index starts from 0. So, you, you have to uh, think, uh, expect your output accordingly. Then, this will print element, first element. So, you have to give the name of the array. Here also, everything, name of the array followed by the member functions. So, here front, it will return the first element. This one, back means it will return 7. Then array 1 dot fill. Let us take this value and we are going to fill with the value 1. So, when you give this 1, now this array 1, all the 10 elements will be, will have the same value that is 1. So, now we will see the output of this program. See here, it returns what? It returns the second uh, position means 0, 1, 2. That is nothing but 5 and 3, 7. And the first element value is 1. The last element value is 7. And the field value, here we have given field to be 1. So all the elements in array 1 is filled with 1. 